Hello comrades, and welcome to a new series of mine. Um, as you can see, I'm playing a game called Democracy 2. Um, uh, true to myself, I'll play another niche game. Um, it's basically a political simulator, uh, where you have to stay in power and overcome difficulties to get re-elected and stuff. Uh, I never played it before, I just bought it five minutes ago um, on Steam. You can get it on Steam for like 19 euros or whatever your currency is. Um, I actually saw it played by a favorite Let's Play of mine called Quill18. I will link, him, link you to his Let's Play. Uh, he's playing the first scenario of this game, which I will not be playing. Uh, I will play the other ones, but uh, I entice you to watch this. He's a much better Let's Player than me. Uh, anyway, uh, hint, yeah, welcome, thank you. Uh, basically, we can choose a scenario here, and uh, this is the first scenario I will not play. Uh, Again, I will link you to the Let's Play. I'll play this one first, Mexilando. It's a military state with a constitutional monarchy. So basically what we you will see, it's not very graphically appealing, but it's uh, uh, it looked like a fun game to play. <laughs> Maybe not to watch, but who cares? <laughs> so let's start with, with it. And again, I have not played this, so it may be a big disaster after all. So let's go. I will not play as the Republicans. Uh, it's just a name, basically. I will play as the People's Movement against the Jehovah Party. Maximum terms of office. Uh, I will not fiddle with it. It's you can like fiddle with the uh, options here and uh, change the difficulty uh, but uh, yeah let's just see what what I have to deal with I'm excited here we go congratulations on your victory congratulations on your election win your excellency you now take your place as president in the constitutional monarchy of Mexilando. You will find the economy in a reasonable, if not exactly spectacular state. But you will find that the population of Mexilando have taken a sudden and passionate dislike to your government. Right from the very start. What did I ever do to them? You will have to fix the many problems that your citizens complain about before the people of Mexilando accept you into their hearts and will vote for you a second time. So here you can see the current situations. Uh, our state suffer, suffers from homelessness, traffic congestion, hospital overcrowding, asthma epidemic, contagious disease, vigilante mobs, organized crime, fucking mafia, technology backwater, uh, that's great, and pollution. So not exactly an easy start. So let's see. Okay, this is the main screen. <laughs> uh, it gives you a basic overview of... Where do I start? Let's start at the top. This is my political power. I need political power to uh, change things on ins and institute certain things. Uh, this is the yearly income of the state and the expenditure, as you can see. We're losing money. This is our death. Debt. What is this? Okay, this bar shows progress to the next uh, election. Then we have some options. Uh, I will uh, discover them as we go. And this is the main screen. Here you can see the different uh, uh, things we have implemented. Like we have petrol tax, we can click on that. And you see, we hardly raise any petrol tax, which have, has uh, effects. It uh, declines car usage. It doesn't change the opinion of the motorist. Fa motorists are a faction. So basically, your 
whole populace is uh, divided into several factions and you can uh, be part of uh, various factions. The envir environmentalists like us a little bit more, the GDP is not affected and the earnings of the middle class are not affected. Here I can like change and you will see <laughs> uh, it will um, give me more money, more income, but it will change the different graphs and it will cost me political power to raise it, it cost me 41 power. Well, I can't do that now. Just for an example. And as you can see, if, when I hover over it, it will blend out everything and gives me uh, this little graphic. So it ties everything that is tied up to it and you can see that petrol tax has a negative uh, negative um, uh, effect on, on car usage and the earnings of the middle class. within in the current state that it is. If I change it, it might differ, but you can gain a, a little uh, overview about that. Income tax is reasonable. Okay. So... Technology backwater. So, um, basically you can see the, the symbols have different colors. The black ones, those are things we can fiddle with, we can change. Blue ones are uh, things we can't fiddle with, but which, which are uh, influenced by stuff and have effect on stuff. As you can see, the air quality has a big impact on pollution. It increases the pollution by 87%. So our air quality sucks because we use too much cars, our GDP has a negative uh, impact on air quality and the air travel. So, uh, here we have pollution, and you can see pollution is a problem, problems are red, and it decreases the lifespan of our, uh, of our uh, citizens and decreases the opinion of the environmentalists of us. Here you have a overview over the different um, groups. So you can see socialists like us, and the socialists are 51% of the 51% of the of the citizens uh, think of themselves as uh, socialists. You can see here we have some focus groups or guys who are uh, members of other groups. Parents hate us because of the hospital overcrowding here. Yeah. So you can see 24% are parents and stuff like that. 40% patriot, uh, this will suck. 20% capital. Okay. I spent way too much money on military, but uh, okay, how do we tackle our problems? Yeah, we have to reduce our... Ah, uh, he here, regarding the problems, uh, you can see the green line is the value where it's now, and we have a start trigger and a stop trigger, and we have to, once we pass the start trigger, the problem will, will uh, appear, and we have to get down to the yellow line to make it disappear. So what we want to do to get rid of the traffic congestion, which has a negative, uh, a negative uh, effect on commuters, motorists, and on our, our GDP. Let's check our GDP first. Yeah, we have to get rid of the technology backwater. How many religious are there? Well. I think we can live without the religious. Um, so basically we want to get rid of the car usage a little, just a little bit, a tad bit. Uh, and we do this by... Uh, 
useful. Yeah. We want to lower the car usage of our. Yeah, I know. Of our. Uh, population, so we have to. Well, that's not that. This is this is good. So we what we're doing is we're funding more bus lanes. It's actually uh, if you see we're now paying for medium uh, around 500 millions a turn, and uh, it's not very expensive to go all the way up. It will uh, lower our, the opinion with the motorists. I think are we high on motorists. I have not checked motorists. Yeah. Dang it. Commuters? Not so much. This might make uh, it hard for me to get re-elected. <laughs> Why do I want to tackle others first? Yeah, okay. I, I think it's a good start to get rid of this first. Then I will tackle the technology backwater to increase our GDP, because if our GDP increases, we will gain more money and more jobs, and some other things will fall around. After that, we have to see what we do. Um, I wanted to... Yes, let's, let's do this. Okay, implement this. So uh, it will take time before it's implemented, uh, up to six months or two turns. Uh, yeah, you can see here, uh, right, so it will take a, a little bit until it's, it's uh, into full effect. Um, next, yeah, we want to get rid of technology backwater. Technology backwater is pretty bad. As you can see, it uh, decreases our GDP, and it's caused by well, we have basically no money spent into uh, education, and we have creationism taught in our schools, which is an abomination. Um, university grants. Actually paid pretty, pretty good money for signs and stuff. I don't know why we have. Oh, our literacy it's pretty high. I think this problem will negate itself over time. I'm not quite sure because uh, we spend a lot of money on education. We actually could pay less, but uh, I, I won't fiddle with it now. Let's, oh, yeah, right, let's check corporation tax, and where's income tax? Yeah, yeah I don't know. Uh, racial tension. I, I, the thing is, I, I'm figuring this thing out uh, while I go, as well as you. So I have actually, actually no clue what I'm doing. Uh, we have to get rid of crime. Okay, let's. Uh, <laughs> the liberal will hate us if we arm our police forces, but we have to get rid of crime anyway. Uh, so, yeah, let's um, raise the uh, police forces a bit. Oh, is it? oh, that's the police force. What did I raise? Armed police. Whatever. 
Morgant is basically basically what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, we are we run out of power, so this is our cabinet. Uh, we could change out people for for others, and they have. Uh, more experience in specific stuff or give us, give us more political power per turn and we have to look at the loyalty the higher the loyalty I guess the more political capital they generate or stuff stuff like that uh, no I have no political achievements here are, we can see our graphics oh to sin cynicism and the thing is, in, in this uh, particular particular uh, scenario, not uh, voting is not um, not uh, mandatory, so not everyone will vote. Ah, okay, I made no promises. Party membership, yeah. Okay, so let's skip a turn. Whoa, what the fuck? Sorry about that. I hope my, my recording is not... For some reason I uh, crashed the desktop a little for a second. Uh, let's give it to her. So, yes, we eliminated traffic congestion. That's good. One problem uh, less. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is basically the report. Uh, the economy is doing okay. We're running a deficit of 15 billions. Uh, that we should seriously increase our GDP. Uh, yeah, 15% would vote for us. Uh, membership. And there is nothing on the security precinct. And here we have an event. Policy dilemma. Appoint UN ambassador. Our ambassador to the UN retires this year and we need uh, to name a successor as soon as possible. What will be made of whether we appoint a hardliner who sticks up for the country or someone more able to compromise? Uh, we can appoint Marta. She is the patriotic uh, hardliner. Um, not very popular internationally. We can appoint Bruno who is a internationally figure um, the thing is, I think we have like uh, almost 40% Patriots, which is quite a lot, and I may need them to uh, to be voted again. So I will, against my better knowledge, I would choose personally, would choose uh, the uh, more liberal socialist guy, but uh, I will choose the Patriot. Okay, so we got rid of the pollution, uh, not pollution, the car tr uh, uh, trouble. Uh, our GDP is falling because of the technological backwater. We have to get rid of this fast. Uh, this is unemployment. Yeah, I should get rid of gambling. It actually has a positive effect on GDP. But a bad effect on whatever. Uh, we need to get rid of technological backwater. So what we have to do is, let's see, oh we don't have to do anything. It will prove, it will, uh, it will uh, fix itself. So, uh, we could get rid of the homelessness and we have to do some stuff. Poverty is... and unemployment affects it. Uh, poverty is... Average income... Where is poverty? 
poverty. There's poverty. So what has a bad effect on it? State pensions, unemployed benefits, uh, state housing is low. Uh, let's click on it. Let's check. It's not affected. State school brings it down the most, which is good. But tobacco tax and sales tax bring uh, holds it up. Um, could raise the unemployment benefits which reduces homelessness and poverty which is what we want but it's pretty expensive the thing is we're running a deficit right now uh. interesting Maybe we can implement new policies. Hmm. Interesting. We may have to increase taxes, actually. Housing is fucking expensive. I think this is, yeah. It doesn't help that much with the housing problem. So, I think I will increase the unemployment benefit by a lot it will increase my spending but uh, in the end it's okay uh, what many don't uh, understand about um, fiscal politics um, the only thing how the country is getting money is by taxes if you're like in this scenario we're getting income taxes is the biggest proportion of our taxes about 20 billion then if the people have income you get more taxes to get more income they have to be helped out of homelessness poverty unemployment so you have to spend money in bad times to gain uh, to reap the benefits when uh, good times are ahead and so I'm going to do, do this because it, it decreases the homelessness by 20% and the poverty by some let's do this yeah I have to drop poverty and homelessness is fucking big problem and poverty if it, I'm attacking it by two angles it decreases directly the homelessness plus if the poverty is going down it's also uh, uh, the, um, the the homelessness is going down as well and as soon as we get rid of uh, technology backwater which should be next turn or the turn after that our GDP rises up we create new jobs and everything will roll into a better a better future uh, let's move on there we go technology backwater is gone uh, global economy is doing okay I'm running a 20 billion deficit <laughs> I have to do something again I have to cut something maybe military spending approval rate is at 21% so it's going up more people join my party and yeah royal scandal a prominent member of the royal family has unfortunately made a comment that could be considered racist if taken out of context. The comment was overheard by press photographers and is causing sc a scandal. How will your government react? 
support the monarch. Nobody expects the government of the day to openly criticize the monarch. It would likely lead to major constitutional difficulties. <laughs> it would be considered deeply unpatriotic. We should issue a statement to the fact that the phrase was taken out of context, was off the record, and clearly does not represent the views of the royal family. Um, okay, I will support the monarch, because I am counting on the Patriots' uh, vote for the next election. And we have 45... I'm, I'm increasing... Basically, I'm increasing the membership of Patriots. I want them to be fucking hillbillies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. You see, homelessness is going way down due to improved... So is poverty. Uh, and we got rid of uh, technology backwater, so our GDP should go up in a bit. Um...